am Lily. Today I'm going to read you the story. Tim, my special brother. Happy readers, level six. Tim, my special brother. Let's read it. Hey Tina said Ben. Remember this book, Tim, my special brother. I told you about it last week. It's a great story. You must read it. Thanks, said Tina. Today is Friday. I can read it this evening. After dinner, Tina started to read the book. Twelve years ago, when I was six years old, my my little brother came into the world, and I was so excited. Finally, I had a bro brother to play with. But things did not happen the usual way. Unfortunately, Tim was born three months early. When babies are born early. They are very small. They can also become sick very easily. At first, it was hard for Tim to breathe or eat, so he had to stay in a hospital special room for babies. The nurses had to had to watch him all the time, and my parents went to see him every day. I wanted to see him too, but the nurses. But the nurses would not let me in. They said I was too young. But I, but I worried about him. What if he could could not breathe by himself? What if he get? What if he got sick? What would happen to him? Luckily, Tim did not get sick. On sunny Saturday, after three months, she finally came home. That day was also my birthday. What a fantastic birthday present! All our rela relatives and friends came round. They bought presents for me and gifts, gifts and food to welcome my little brother. Everyone was so happy. But 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 suddenly Tim soon faced new problems. He had a very quiet, quiet baby and did not move much. However, we noticed something wrong. It seemed that he could not really move his legs. When the doctor checked him, he told us some bad news. Tim would never be able to walk. He would probably be in a wheelchair for his whole life. I was so disappointed. How could this happen to us? I wanted a normal bro brother to have fun with. Now Tim would not be able to do. To anything with me, I did not know anyone in a wheelchair. Even my grandparents could walk. I did. I did not want a brother in a wheelchair. But my parents were always kind and of love, loving, to both of us. They never got angry with me when I was impatient with Tim. They always said, "John, you're his big brother. We must accept his ability, his ability, and be patient." As Tim grew, it was a lot of extra extra work for my parents, but they loved him dearly and never complained. They always encouraged him to be happy and to try new things. My parents wanted Tim to grow as a normal little boy. They wanted him to be to be able to enjoy the same things as everyone else did. To go out shopping, go to the park. And going go to the swimming pool, but it was not always easy. It was difficult to travel around. At first, our family did not have a car, and we had to use a public transport. We could only use buses with special doors. Only these buses make it easy for wheelchairs to get on and off. Traveling by underground was also a problem. Some of the underground stations had long escalators and no lifts to take us, take us, take us to the platform. We could not take the escalators, so we always had to plan our journeys carefully. This story is very interesting. Let's see. And every and every time we took Tim out. People stared at us. I was so embarrassed. It was certainly not Tim's fault. Tim was a nice boy. He laughed and smiled a lot. He never got angry with anyone, but it still made me unfor unfor un uncomfortable when people stared. At school, everyone knew about Tim's Tim's disability. Some of my classmates would laugh and make jokes about him. 
They said bad things about him and made fool of me as well. This made me really sad. Actually, many of my friends did not want to come and play at our house. Only my friend Julie was different. When she came over, she would say hello to Tim and talk to him. Sometimes she would even bring over a toy for it. Toy for Tim. It was so nice of Julie to do that. She is still my best friend. It was also a huge problem to find a school for Tim. When Tim was five years old, my parents decided to send him to kindergarten. They wanted him to meet more children. They went to several different kindergartens, but none of none of the schools. Would take him. Maybe the teachers did not have the skills to teach a disabled children like child like him, or maybe other parents would want to keep their children away. I felt sorry for Tim. Luckily, one day, Mom read about a new kindergarten on the website of a charity group. They took him to the to meet the principal. The principal was nice. She did not seem to worry about Tim's disability. She asked him a lot of questions. Then she, then she talked to Mom and Dad. Tim is a nice young boy," said the principal, "and he is very clever. We'll be happy to to have him in our kindergarten. What good news! Finally, Tim could go to kindergarten. This is this is principal, mom, dad, and Tim. At first, Mom went to the kindergarten every day with Tim to help him, but Tim soon got used. To go into school. After a while, she did. She did not have to stay there with him. With him anymore. The children in the kindergarten were nice to him. They did not say bad things to make him to make to make him or make fun of him. Or make fun of him. Tim made lots of friends, but the best thing about the kindergarten was his teacher, Mrs. Johnson. Mrs. Johnson's classes were full of fun. She laughed a lot and sang funny songs. She played exciting games with the children to help them remember dif- difficult words. She also used animal puppets to tell interesting stories. Tim liked the puppets and the stories very much. He loved kindergarten and especially Mrs. Johnson. In fact, he talked about her all the time. When Tim started primary one. He went to another school. He became more and more confident, and school was not hard for him. He did not think of he did not think of himself as dif- different, different, and felt good about himself. He could do lots of things and was proud proud of that. He could read. He did well in math. He could sing well, and he was he was good at drawing. He was just like the other children. Tim quickly made made some new friends. One of them was Mary. Mary also had a disability. She has she has partly blind, so she could not read like everyone else. She needed extra help and used special books with lots of little raised dots in them. The dots are a type of special alphabet called Braille. When Mary read, Ma- when Mary read, she used her fingers to fill the dots. And sometimes Mary was unhappy because she could not join some of the classes. But when, but when she felt felt sad, Tim told her jokes to make her laugh. Mary helped him too. When Tim. When Tim said about not being able to run around and play. Mary would sit next to him and talk to him. They really looked after each other. Tim and Mary enjoyed being at school together. It made both both our family very happy. One day, when Tim was eleven years old, 
Mary's dad told him about a basketball club for children in wheelchairs. He showed him some photos on the club website. In the photos, some children in wheelchairs were playing basketball. They looked very happy. On the website, there was also information about about other disabled children. Some of them became really good at basketball. They even went to the compound in the Special Olympics for disabled people. Wow. Um, Special Olympics means Paralympics, and and evil going, and this week it was Olympics, and there was Olympic Games, and from now on, it's going to have Paralympics. I'm going to see that, and Team Stats showed this website that 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 children on a wheelchair. Is playing basketball. I saw that on my book, and its wheelchair is a little different. Its wheels, um, normal wheels are, normal wheelchairs are, wheelchair wheels are, the straight. But, but playing basketballs, basketball people's wheelchairs are like wheels. Look at this. It's not right. Tim was really excited, but he was also nervous. He could draw, read, read, and sing well, but could he learn to play basketball? Mary encouraged him to join the club and take up the challenge. She said she she would also try to do something difficult. She asked him to think of a challenge for her. The team decided to join the club, and he really enjoyed himself. He started to practice every Saturday and Sunday. Mary and her family often came with, with us to support him. We all cheered him on. After six months of training, there was a com- competition, and teams competition, and teams team won. We were all happy for team. But what about Mary's challenge? Tim asked her to try take the train by herself. Mary was also really nervous. At first, she did not think she could do it, but but gradually, Mary learned to feel her way with her white stick. Soon, she could walk along comfortably. It made her feel so good about herself. Sometimes I try to ask my myself. One question: What if I had a disability too? Would I be brave enough like him? I'm not sure. I'm very, I'm very sure about one thing. I am proud to have Tim as my brother. Tim is not just a disabled boy in a wheelchair. He's special, and he's my dear brother. When Tina finishes the book, her eyes were full of tears. She never thought about the lives. When Tina finished the book, her eyes were full of tears. She never thought about the lives and of disabled people, but this book made her think a lot. It was such a touching story. She could not wait to phone Ben and talk to him about it. Bye. Tomorrow I'm going to read a new book. We're all there, Matilda. Do you know Matilda? Yes, tomorrow I'm going to read Roald Dahl Matilda Chapter One. Bye.